Hi everybody. Mimi and I went to our local library today, got a whole bunch of books. I'm going to read them, start reading them tonight. It's so beautiful, we brought them home to read them outside on our front porch. So the first one I have is Be Kind. Sounds like a great idea to me. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. Look. All over her new dress. Mm -hmm. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind. So I didn't. Here she is down here. Everybody's laughing at Tanisha. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. Here she is. And no one's paying attention to her, except our, 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 our book lady. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice who everyone would start, start staring at me? What does it mean to be kind anyway? That's a great question. Maybe it's giving, making cookies for Mrs. Rimaldi, who lives alone. Mr. Rimaldi, that lives alone, excuse me. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink or cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. He's so cute. I think we had guinea pigs once, didn't we, Mimi? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond like his blue, I like his blue dress boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. <laughs> We've all been there. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying thank you and bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hi, Carla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mortelbaum. Mortelbaum? Mortelbaum. Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard, too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm, I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. Trying to teach his, her baby brother how to see the letters. That is hard. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary, but really a really, really good kind thing to do. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Miss Tanisha. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things for other people do. And together they could grow into something big. All the little things they're doing to be nice and kind. Something really big, so big that all our kindness spill out of the school, spread through town. Look at all the people doing nice things in her town. Travel across the country welcome home and go all the way around the world. Look, helping someone up on the ice, picking up her books, giving up his seat on the subway or the L. All kind things, small random acts of kindness. Right back to Tanisha and me so we can be kind again and again. And again, she gave Tanisha her picture of the purple and green violets.
look, Denise is putting the picture up in her room. That is a book called Be Kind, and I hope you're kind. Sometimes it's hard, but it's always worth it. Till next time, bye-bye, guys.